Parents, guardians, and students, if you're watching this video, you are trying to connect the Canvas Parent app and account to a student account. And so on the right hand side of my screen, you will see the student actions. And on the left hand side of the screen, you will see the app and what parents need to do. So students on the right, parents on the left. Also, if you're following the tutorial, the visual tutorial, you'll see that this goes in that same order. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get a pairing code in uh, from the student account. So students must act first. Students will need to type in Murrieta.instructure.com. They will also be able to go to a dedicated link on the district website and their school website that says Canvas. But for this purpose, we're just going to type it in and hit enter. Now what happens next is we need students to sign into their Microsoft account so we can authenticate and make sure that this account is a student account. And so it's very important that your student knows how to log into Microsoft. Please re review those instructions on the tutorial. I cannot show you here because um, that is my account, um, but what, what students will need to do is put in their student email and their student password. Again, student email, which ends in mvusd.org and their student password. I'm going to pause the video so that I can log in and show you what the next step would look like for students. Okay, as a student, I have logged in with my email and password, and now it takes me to my Canvas account, and it takes me right to the top of the global navigation where it says account. This is very important because this is where you get your pairing code. So make sure that you're on the account tab and also on settings. Notice that the settings is highlighted here. When you see settings, you look to the far right and you see this important tab here called pair with observer. So this is a very important uh, part because you must get your child's code for however many students you have in the district, you want to get their code and that code will be good for the life uh, for as long as they are in our district. So you only have to do this one time. So when as a student, I'm going to click pair with observer and this code that you see here on my screen is what we need to complete the process as a parent and it is case sensitive. So it's a capital A lowercase k. So what, what we do next then is as a parent, I'm going to go over here to the app and I'm going to click find school and in that area, I'm going to type in Murrieta and it does not have to be capitalized. And what you're going to see here is you're going to see two choices. The first choice is for students and staff. The second choice we labeled parents because that's the one that you want to go to. So in this case, I'm going to click parents and give it a second here. And what pops up is this screen. Now, if you are a parent who's already done the process, you would just log in. But most of us, if you're watching this video, had do not have a parent account. So what you're going to need to do is create one here. So I'm going to click the bottom where it says it's free. And it is free. So I'm going to give my uh, iPad a second to refresh here. And this screen's very important. I noticed that when I was doing this on my phone the first time that it was a little, I had to move my screen around a little bit. But what's really important, parents, is this area right here, which says parents sign up here. This is a free account, so I'm going to click that and it's going to open up. Now, what's important here is, and I'll have to pause the video again, is that you put in as a parent your, your name, first and last, your email, a password that you create, you must re-enter that password, and then this code right here that you see is what goes right here where it says student pairing code. As soon as you have all those fields done correctly and you click start participating, you will be connected to your child. So it's a very important step and I'm gonna pause the video now because you have your key here and you'll have to create your own account. Each parent will have their own account or each guardian. Each student also has five, that their account can be observed five times. So older brother or sister and uncle, all of those can be added as those, those individuals can add a pairing and, and added a account to them. They would use the parent app, but students can only, you can only be, this can only be done five times. So it's important to note. Again, I'm gonna pause the video so that you can fill in your information.
Okay, so to continue this video, I want to show you now what it looks like um, just on the app. All we needed the student account for was to get the code, and we would do that for every child that we have in the district. We need to get their code. So now what you're looking at is you're looking at a fake course here. Um, we have a student here that I would see, and what I want to show you how to do first is add additional students if you have them. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the top where this button is here and I'm going to click this area and this is my fake account and I'm going to go to where it says manage students. Now manage students you can see I have one student account that I am observing, I'm watching and I want to go ahead and add more to that. So I'm going to use the plus button and this is again where I will just add the code that we were looking at in that video and I'm going to make sure I'm case sensitive and I'm going to click add. All right, we'll try that again. Maybe I mess that up. Sometimes you may need to re um, add a new pairing code. All right, so what I've done now is I've added that fake student account that you saw, and I've added that to um, my, um, my account. And so now I'm going to click the back button. And as I'm on my uh, iPad here or phone, um, I can now toggle at the very top between students by clicking this area right here. So now I see two students, and if I wanted to continue to add students, I could. So if I tap on Bill, you will see as a parent that my menu changes. I can see the courses my child is, is uh, um, in, uh, or my younger sibling, however you want to set up the account. And you can see that I don't have any grades right now, but this will show as grades start to come in. You can also see at the very bottom that I have courses, that's the course view. I also have calendar, that's the calendar view. And right now there isn't any notifications or anything, so there's nothing coming in and alerts is at the very bottom and I'll show you why how powerful this alerts uh, one is so the alerts are set up here by you as the observer so I'm gonna go ahead and click that and show you how this happens so this is where you want to go ahead and go to manage students and in manage students you get to choose how you want alerts to happen for you so I'm gonna use Bill as an example here and what I can start start to do is determine when I get alerts in Canvas. So if I um, if I want to do a, maybe a reward system with him, and I want to say, okay, anything you know above seventy, um, I want to be notified, and anything or maybe that's seventy one. So anything above seventy one. So now here I might go, you know, anything below um, seventy, I want it, I want it to alert me on the app. And um, anytime there's an assignment missing, if you toggle that on then you will get a notification when oh, I got to go back and change that so that you have to you have to click on the app and, and if you don't it resets it um, you can also set assignments grade above and grade below so that's specific assignments and grades so you can do course level like just where the total score or or just as assignments come in you can also be notified when course announcements come in um, that might help you keep your child on, on track. We will not be using the institution announcements very much. Um, this is only through Canvas. We use Aries Communication for that. So when you're done, just click Done. And now you can go back to Manage Students. And now you can see I've got alerts set for Bill. So if I go back again to my home screen, and I'm just probably on the course view when I, when I show up, anytime these uh, numbers match my alerts, then I will get an alert on my phone. And so it's a great way to help, um, you know, monitor. If I click on the course level, if I click the actual um, course, I can see some of the things that my child is doing in that course. Now, this is all just a fake course, but this is the way it will look for you. So you can look at assignments. So I'm going to click the first assignment and you can get some information that the teacher sent out. So whatever the teacher wrote in here, um, and a video or anything that they put in there, you will get to see that, uh, that content. 
And so it helps you help students understand what's going on as well as, as a support. I'm going to hit the back button. But as you can see, you'll get used to the icons. This is the icon for assignment. And there's other um, icons um, that, that there is. Like this is a discussion. So you'll get used to that icon. And let's see if we have another one here. And this was a, um, a quiz. And so that's the icon. The rocket ship is the icon for quiz. And there's only about four um, different icons. And it's a great way to follow with your, with your uh, child and be able to, um, you know, see what's, what's going on, what's coming up, and their, their total grade. So this total grade is accurate and it will reflect in our ARIES, um, you know, uh, our ARIES grades in, in, um, in our school system. So this is just an overview again of the app. You've now learned how to log in and learned how to use um, the app uh, for, uh, for pairing with your student.